CPR's continuous siphon overflow systems provide an effective means of getting water to an external filter without expensive modifications to the tank. These precision engineered overflows skim water from the surface of your aquariums at flow rates much greater than overflows that utilize tubes. The black top on all models will reduce algae growth inside the overflow, reducing the amount of maintenance required to achieve a hassle-free tank. An aquarium overflow is sometimes also referred to as a surface skimmer. Its purpose is to provide an outlet from the tank so that water can be processed by a filter under the tank or in some other remote location. New aquariums are commonly available with built-in overflows that will drain from the back or side of the tank, but it is almost impossible to add this type of an overflow to an existing tank. Because of this, hang-on overflows were developed. These overflows remove water from the tank by way of a siphon between an inner and outer chamber that is hung from the back of the tank. The CS overflows simplify this design by reducing the number of parts that must be assembled to a single unit. If you have the option to purchase a tank with a built-in overflow, CPR would highly recommend doing so. Installing your new overflow will require some preparation. It is best to position the overflow so that it is as far from the return as possible. This will provide for optimum circulation in your tank. You should also check the flow rate of your pump at this time to make sure that your overflow will be able to handle the water flow. First, Remove the overflow and all of its parts from the packaging. Your overflow may not have the same items that are shown here. Please refer to your instructions for a complete list of parts and inspect all items for damage. If any of the items are damaged or missing, please contact your dealer immediately. Next, assemble the bulkhead and tighten it into place by hand. Make sure that the gasket is located on the inside of the overflow. Attach the bulkhead screen, sponge, and vent tube as shown. Place the overflow on the tank and adjust the lower screws so that the unit is parallel with the back of your tank. Now you will need to plumb the overflow to your sump. Refer to the instructions for recommended hose sizes as these are unique to each overflow. For best results, you should use flexible tubing that is at least one quarter of an inch larger in diameter than the bulkhead PVC size. If you are going to have many bends, or if the distance is more than four feet, it is recommended that you increase the diameter by one half of an inch instead of one quarter. These adapters are commonly available at home improvement and plumbing stores. Make the drain as straight as possible and avoid any sharp bends, as they will restrict flow and increase the amount of noise produced once the overflow is running. Fill your tank to the desired level and use the top adjustment screws to position the overflow so that the front lip is just below the water level. You will be able to fine tune this level later. Fill your sump to its recommended operating level. Next, fill the back chamber of the overflow as shown. Now your overflow is ready to start. Use one of the methods detailed in the instructions to prime your overflow. CPR highly recommends using a diaphragm water pump, such as the Aqualifter by Tom. This pump will draw the air from the overflow to start the siphon. It will also remove any air that accumulates during normal operation to eliminate the possibility of an overflow occurring due to siphon breakage. Once the siphon is primed, the water level in the tank will drop to the front lip of the overflow. Plug in your return pump. As the water levels in the tank and filter adjust, you may need to add or remove water to the filter in order to maintain the correct operating level. Congratulations, your overflow is now operational. Now that your overflow is in place, let's discuss some of the maintenance required to keep it operating smoothly. The pre-filter sponge in the back of the overflow should be cleaned on a weekly basis. As this sponge becomes clogged, the water level will rise and the overflow will begin to make more noise. The vent tube will help to reduce some of the noise associated with the overflow drain. Adjusting the tube up or down will result in a reduction of noise. Once the optimal position is found, slide the small o-ring into place just above the bulkhead screen. This vent will accumulate salt at the base, 
so it will be necessary to clean it once a week. Periodically check to make sure that your prime method is still functional. The easiest way to determine this is to look at the side of the overflow. If there is little or no air in the top of the overflow, then your prime method is still operating efficiently. Please visit our website at www.cpraquatic.com for troubleshooting information and our technical support bulletin board. We hope that you enjoy using your new overflow and any other CPR equipment that you may own.